So here we go. During the process of installing our last um, Pandora's box in the arcade one up, what we actually wound up doing was frying our LCD digitizer board. So we wound up going ahead and ordering a new package. I'm gonna show y'all what this one comes with. So instead of just ordering your basic digitizer boards, we're just gonna come with pretty much just your board. I like this package right here. It's gonna give you a nice, good, basic assembly instructions. It's going to give you your actually ground bolts and screws, which is extremely important when you're swapping everything up. It's gonna give you your cables package nice and separately in here. So I'm going to move these out the way for you. And of course, some nice good little zip ties, your screwdriver, and here goes all your boards package individually. This is going to be pretty much your board with all your menu settings, menu, volume, source this right here let's go ahead and pop this out the box this is going to be the actual board where everything is going to plug up into so this is going to give you your hdmi dvi your pc input your power supply your audio in and your audio out so this is going to be your main board right here. It's the main piece you're going to need. And your arcade one up. This is, good. This is actually what distributes your power. You're not going to need this one at all right here for your arcade one up board. You may need it for another project later on. Don't know. But we're going to set this to the side. But this is why I like this particular package the most. And this is going to be the actual plastic case for your board so we don't have the same problem like we just had. I'm not going to be able to let the back of my board right here touch the screen or any kind of metal on the back of my screen because when you do that it actually fries this whole piece right here. So now we're going to actually have a case because in the back of my arcade one up there's not enough space for me to pull it too much further away from the screen so here we go. We're going to put this together show you what it looks like and go from there. So after you have all those pieces pretty much open and laid out, I started on this one. What you're going to do is go on ahead and just peel all this off right there. It's a little iffy and tricky on getting some of this off. It's on there pretty good. There we go. I'm gonna go on ahead and clean up all this nasty stuff. My nails are already dirty. Knock that out. Then you're gonna go ahead and clean off all the pieces like that and then we're gonna put them together. All right, so there you go. Once you actually have everything installed and sitting in the back of your machine, you're gonna have something that looks just like this. She's going to be in a nice, good plastic box. Everything safely tucked away. So you actually don't have to worry about nothing touching the back of your board. But there's still four screws that's going to be on the back of this. So what I did is I went on ahead and put in a Velcro strip right there. Because this cord isn't long enough for me to put anywhere else. On top of the fact that we actually do have other things installed on this machine. So it's going to wind up sitting exactly like that sitting on the back and we're going to have a complete setup just like that so there you go this is in my opinion one of the best boards to get for the price i'm gonna put the link in the description below and then we'll go on ahead and uh finish this off right there i'm gonna show you what she's doing for me right now Now in the end, this is a complete Frankenstein unit. It's actually built off of three different arcade one-up machines. It used to be a one-up, I mean a one-player control deck. So it's now a two-player control deck on me. Had to flip the screen sideways to get this to actually work with the mods that we have going on. So let's go on ahead and turn it on and see what she looks like right now.
So there we go. In this particular machine right now, we actually currently have, I believe, 8,000 gains. Let me go ahead and triple check on that for you. Six thousand nine hundred and ninety five. So on this particular unit, we have six thousand nine hundred and ninety five games currently operating in our arcade.